We'd all love to train in a killer equipped gym five days a week, but sometimes life just gets in the way. You can have excuses or you can have results. What's up champ? Jordan Wheeler of Blue Star Nutraceuticals. And today I'm gonna teach you how to demolish your upper body when all you have access to is good old dumbbells and a bench. The following workout is designed using supersets and trisets, so there is a bit of a metabolic conditioning effect to the workout. However, longer rest periods between sets allow for adequate recovery. This workout is ideal if you're in an overcrowded gym or lacking equipment like your typical hotel gym. And of course, this workout is great if you need to train at home. If you find yourself slammed for time and missing workouts, just hop on the classifieds online and you can easily find a set of adjustable dumbbells like power blocks and a bench for a reasonable price. It's crazy how far just a bench and a set of adjustable dumbbells can go when you can't make it out to the gym. Let's get to it. First, we're going to tackle back and chest with three supersets. First superset, we'll start with bent over one arm dumbbell rows. Ensure that your back is parallel to the floor you want to row the weight and get a full range of motion. Too many guys try to toss around big weights for this one. Work the muscle, not the ego. Then we'll go right to flat dumbbell presses. Start at your chest and finish above your eyes. Don't clank the dumbbells at the top of the movement and don't lock out. Just keep constant tension on your pecs. Think of a piston in an engine. Constant movement, no pausing. Second superset, we'll start with dumbbell pullovers. This is a great forgotten old school bodybuilding movement. Try to keep your arms straight, big stretch back, and focus on pulling with your elbows, not your hands. Then we'll go right over to incline dumbbell flies. Keep your elbows fairly locked, stretch down, and bring your arms up. If you're struggling with this exercise, just think about hugging a big tree. You want to really squeeze your pecs. The last superset for back and chest will start with bent over two arm dumbbell rows. Normally, this movement will be done with a bar. But hey, we only have dumbbells to work with. Take an overhand grip, bend at the waist with a slight bend in your knees. Again, keep your back parallel to the floor. None of this 45 degree nonsense. Keep your head in a neutral position, don't round your back, and row the weight. Some body English here is okay in order to really row the weight, but don't get out of control. Then we'll superset with some dumbbell push-ups. Being elevated a couple extra inches allows for a nice range of motion. Now we'll move on to shoulders and arms with three different triceps. For the first tricep, we'll start off with bent over dumbbell rear delt flies. Most guys neglect their rear delts, which is a shame because when they grow, they really pop out in a t-shirt and add that 3D look. For these, bend over so that you're parallel to the floor. Slight bend at your elbows, and extend your arms out with your thumbs pointed down to the floor. Really try to reach out and pretend like you're reaching out to touch the walls. Then we'll move over to alternate dumbbell curls. Really try to flex your bicep on the negative portion of the lift. And don't rest the dumbbells on your hips or legs in between each arm movement. Then, right over to some overhead dumbbell tricep extensions. Really get a good stretch and a good range of motion and extend to the fully locked out position on each rep. Next tricep, we'll start off with seated dumbbell lateral raises. Bend at the waist and raise the dumbbells up as if you're reaching out to touch the walls. Don't bring your hands too far above your shoulders on this one. Then we'll go over to some hammer curls to really hit the brachialis. Again, don't rest the dumbbells on your leg or hip in between arms. And then we'll do some lying dumbbell chest tricep extensions, also known as tape presses. Don't bounce the dumbbell off your chest. Extend at the top all the way to lock out. And for the final tricep, we'll start off with some seated dumbbell presses. Try to keep your elbows out in front of you and don't lock out at the top of the movement. We'll go right into some seated concentration curls next. Keep your elbow off of your leg. Don't cheat on this one. Nice squeeze on the way up and try to flex your bicep on the negative portion and then some seated tricep dumbbell overhead presses. Grab a dumbbell, be careful, 
and get it up to your shoulder and then back behind your head. Keep your elbows in, big stretch, full range of motion, and then press up to full lockout. Try to perform these as if it's a press rather than an extension. How's that feel? Pretty intense, right? And that's a wrap. Next time you catch yourself in the jam, just find some dumbbells and do the work. Smash that thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks. As always, keep training hard.